my drawings look a little bit more realistic uh, according to proportion and everything else okay right now I'm using a B light pencil and I'm first what you want to do is draw a box this box is the the outside of the picture that I'm drawing as you can see on the top left this is the, the box that I drew and then after you done drawing the box you draw the the shape of the head inside the box and then after you draw the, the shape of the head inside the box your, your face the face uh, should be a uh, perfect now perfect fits in the uh, in box and then after that you just start drawing the eyes and then the nose and the mouth this way uh, you can keep everything perfect like you're not gonna have a big eye and the other eye small or big nose or no small nose everything's gonna be perfect because everything is in the box and you know how big they are and how small they are okay now we're gonna get a darker pencil and draw the eye start darkening everything now it's because now you know where everything is you just doing the shading now um, it's like coloring you just filling in the shading you're putting the darker and the lighter values now it's gonna be much easier you know where everything is and all you're doing is shading and I will make a video um, on how to shade the shading techniques what to use when you're shading what kind of pencil is best for shading and everything else like that so I will make video on that so um right now I'm just in a video I'm just um, drawing the eyes I'm trying to get the eyes look a little bit more realistic um, shading in And again, I'm sorry for speeding the video because uh, it's going to take a long time if I didn't speed it. So, I'm sorry for that. Um, right now, I'm just shading. Um, doing the other eye. Trying to make it look as realistic as possible. Um, doing the lips now. shading the lips and the, the bottom of the lips on this one is not that dark so try not to darken the lip too much and look at look at the way I'm holding a pencil when I'm um, shading very lightly I'm holding the pencil almost at the end of the pencil that helps when you are shading that's just one technique that, that, that you can use to shade hold the pencil at the end and then for a me mechanical pencil the best thing about mechanical pencil is like doing the little things like the the eyebrows you know you you know how you have the the hair on a picture the eyebrows are the very um very easier to draw with a mechanical pencil because a mechanical pencil is very skinny it's very thin so you can get the details and then now I'm just kind of just doing the neck, doing the shading of the neck. Trying to get everything proportion good. Um Okay, so now I'm just doing the finishing touches, the like the hair and in the background, just doing everything, the touches and stuff, just the final details, and the background and everything like that. That I'm almost done. Now the picture is almost finished, and um, I'm sorry uh, I didn't talk as much in this video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the trick that I do when I start drawing a, a, a portrait like at the beginning when you draw a box and then you draw 
the shape of the head inside a box that really helps a lot so if you if you want to use that method it will be very helpful you're gonna keep everything in place everything uh, everything look perfect will look perfect and um, yeah so uh, this is all I got uh, I hope you guys like the video I hope um, uh, you learn something out of this that you can use next time when you draw your pencil uh, when you draw your picture and um, I, as always thank you very much for watching the video and um, I'll, I hope uh, you enjoy the rest of my videos if you're new to my channel and always if you have a question just uh, comment and I will answer the question in a, in a box in a comments box and um, thank you very much for watching again uh, see you later